it's 2 p.m. again and you feel so lousy, you feel so down and tired, you got no energy left, but then you've got all this power work you got to get through. What do you do? You get for your Red Bull, you get for your energy drink, your cafe, and your stimulants, and back of your mind you're thinking, what am I doing to my health on the long term? Is this good for me? Is this sustainable? What alternatives are there for this afternoon energy slump? Well, last time I showed you one option. I showed you nicotine as one possible option to hack your brain. But you say, Steve, what? I don't know. I, I don't know about nicotine. Can I get energy without stimulant, without nicotine? Well, I've got the answer to for you. I'm going to show you a secret ancient technique for getting instant energy anytime, anywhere, for free without taking in substances. And you'll find out today. Welcome to Executive Warrior Academy where we help you upgrade your effectiveness so that you can work less and achieve more. My hack for you to get instant energy anytime, anywhere, without stimulants, without even nicotine, as a nootropic, is breathing. Well, you that immediately conjured up, I can see all kinds of images in your head, I can see your mind going, Steve, and now I'm going to have the arm three times and float in midair in some mystical goodness. No, no, you don't have to do that. Well, you could if you want to, but then who's got time for that, right? That's the th people think about this mystical woo-woo land of meditation and yogis in the misty mountains doing all kinds of things. Look, we've got life to live. It's great if you can go to a retreat and meditate for 3,000 years and then get enlightened and energized that way, but we want that energy for actually doing stuff at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, so we got no time to actually do that, right? So what's got breathing got to do that? Any, does that actually work? Well, the science is very, very clear. Breathing is one of the single most powerful way for you to manipulate your physiological state. You can breathe through energize, you can breathe through relax, and there's no doubt. So in a book by James Nestor called Breathe, he went into dozens of research interview research on what is the latest in terms of breath research, and it's used to help people with anxiety, it's used to help people with hypertension, it's used for pain management, it's used to upgrade your sporting performance, and if you're a singer, you already know that breathing is a key and essential to your performance. So there is absolutely no doubt, no doubt, that breathing affects your performance, your energy, your well-being, everything. But how many of you have been, have you been to a breathing school where you learn to breathe? The thing is, breathing is much more than just diaphragm. And most of you will think, well, I guess Steve, does that mean I just breathe diaphragm? So there's three factors I want you to pay attention to to breathe. First is depth. How deep does it go? So that is important, but also where does it go? Okay, I can breathe in deep here, then go down. I can breathe into my belly, then go up. Right? There is a difference, right? Where does your depth go of your breath? You can and then go, right? You want to hear the sound because it's a lot deeper. Right? Or I can go in. Okay? So depth. And where does the depth go? There's the frequency. Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it fast? Then slow. Right? There's the tempo that matters. And also, one more thing that most people don't think about when they're thinking about breath is whether they hold their breath. At what point do you hold the breath? when all the air is gone, like completely gone, or do you hold the air like you're about to jump into a pool and you're about to dive? You want maximum air retention before you hold your breath so you can last the longest. There are a lot of nuances for which you can use your breath to master your mindset, to master your physiology, your whole body. And this is the, my master told me this, a while back, Steve, 
your breath is your gateway to everything. And this is me going, Shifu, what does that mean? Right? So that, that's just, what does it mean? It took me over 20 years to understand. And looking at the science, looking at all the other research around the breath, to understand, he is right. He is right. It is the doorway to everything, to your subconscious, to your mind, to your energy, to your ability to focus. So back to the breath I'm going to show you. This particular breath is the warrior breath. It is fast paced. And it is something that's going to excite you. So you do not want to do this too close to bedtime. Okay, remember the three things I ask you to pay attention to about your breath, as in depth and where, the location of your depth. What's the second one? Second one, anyone remember? Pace and rhythm. Pace and rhythm. How you breathe and what the rhythm is. And third, 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 where do you hold your breath? The warrior breath is going to give you a lot of, quite a big, quick buzz, but it's not due long duration. So it's perfect. Let's say 9 p.m., you're trying to get some work done and you don't want to take caffeine. Remember, last episode, I talked about caffeine having a half-life of six, seven, eight hours. In, in other words, it stays in your blood for at least six, seven, eight hours. It will continue to have the impact on your sleep quality even if you fall asleep. Okay? So you don't want that if you're about to go to bed. So this is a good one for where you want that energy, but you don't want so much energy to last all night, unless you do want to last all night, in case take caffeine or you know take some other stimulants. But this is a good one for uh, you know, for parents. <laughs> so the way is work. I'm going to ask you to take ten fast deep breaths, but the breath is going to go into the lungs, then into the into the tummy. Okay, it's going. Okay, in so I'm going to go sideways into the lung, into the tummy. Okay, that's 10 deep breath. You're going to do that fast. Okay, we're going to do that fast. One word of caution or recommendation, it's not a caution, it's a tip. If you never really learn what it feels like to do proper diaphragmic breathing, you've never been taught, go and learn it. Because it's if you don't know what it feels like, it, it, it's like trying to learn to swim by reading a book. You have to do it, you have to go and try it and oh, yeah, that looks easy enough. Read a book, yeah, it's easy enough. And you jump in the pool, the next thing you know, the lifeguards are over you and you'll be dragged out of the water completely embarrassed, right? So, you don't want that. Go and learn how to do proper diaphragm breathing from a yogi, from yoga studio, from a tai chi master, from kung fu. There's a lot of places, even singing classes will teach you to do that properly but then once you know what that feels like okay warrior breath into your lung right double breath okay 10 we're going to do 10 and then i'm going to show you some i'm going to introduce you some movement it does matter that's how you get your energy your your chi your prana in in indian pranayama that chi or that energy force to flow more effectively, but we'll hold that. 10 breath, then we're gonna breathe all the way out and hold your breath. Okay, then we're gonna breathe all the way in and hold our breath. Then we're gonna let go. So that's the sequence, okay? 10 breath, breathe all the way out, hold it out, don't 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 breathe in and feel what it feels like not to have air. And then breathe all the way in, hold it there. And then let go. Okay, so that is the sequence. Are you ready to do it with me? Right, this is a time, if you're operating heavy machineries, do not do this. If you're driving, you're looking after someone, do not do this. If you're in, in a place where you can be in danger, do not do this. Do it in a safe place. All right, are you ready? Okay, let's go with me. So we're going to take 10 breaths. Ready? I'm going to go side so just you can hopefully see me better. Ready? Go. <sighs> All the way out.
Hold your breath out as long as you can. All right, all the way in. Hold your breath in. Let that go. Now, for some of you, you feel a bit of a, a buzz in your brain, your head. It's like your, your. It's almost like you're on some kind of drug. Well, in, in, in fact, you are releasing all these epinephrine energizing hormones. Epinephrine is known as adrenaline, nor epinephrine or nor adrenaline. You are actually energizing your body. You're actually getting it geared up, right, to tackle a challenge. And that gives you energy. You just don't want it to have this on a chronic basis, but cortisol, epinephrine, nor epinephrine are catecholamines that energize you and they are good things provided that they come in small quantities just like great chocolate too much is not good for you okay so that is the warrior breath remember just to remind you is like in in okay and it's 10 and you hold all the way and you can repeat whenever you need an extra boost that boost will probably last you about 20 minutes or so if you need a more of a boost, just do it twice or three times, and that's okay. One thing I do want to introduce you, and as a last hot tip, I promise I'm going to give you awesome material, and this is, I'm giving it all to you. This is why I teach my executive clients. The reason we do the hand movement in, in, in this particular breath also is it's a good neck stretch. We spend all day, a lot of my executive clients do this on computers or in a meeting, right? they head forward or on their phone, their head's forward, so that carries a lot of weight on their neck, and that is not a good thing. So when you do this, I'm not going to do the whole breath for you, but put your hands in front of this, right? That stretches out your fascia around your fingers because we type all day. You don't want to get RSI. Stress injuries, basically. Repetitive stress injuries. You don't want that. You want to loosen your muscles. When you do the breath, breath here, Okay, when you pull your hand, and then when you push down, like it's like a stretch, like downwards, okay? You're stretching downwards. You can't see on the screen, but uh, yeah, you can't see on the screen. But when you do that, push downwards, and almost like you're doing a, a nice stretch on the, or as you breathe in, right? In, when you breathe, and then breathe in and push it down, okay? Do that, do 10, okay? Then on the 10th, when you hold your breath out, hold your breath out. Then when you hold breathing in again on your 10th breath, you're gonna look stretched towards the sky and see your head, right? Just let it lean back, okay? Then you get a nice stretch on the back of your neck while you're doing this, okay? Then as you let go of the breath in, hold. All right. I'm not going to bore you to death with extended video. Generally, I teach my clients step by step in a more bar hacking for executive course. We don't have time for this to go through this, but this is meant to be a quick and fast video. I hope you get something out of it. Let me know, right? How does it feel when you do this? Have you ever done this before? What uh, feedback do you have? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you next time. Have an awesome day. Take care.